Hey what's going on guys Ravi here from Ira FX and in this video we'll be learning to add reflection to text or logo in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any delay let's get started. Alright so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have two elements here two images one is my background image let me drag this onto the sequence here so that you know one of the layer uh, uh, background is added and I also add this image which is actually my logo so I have this logo added to the second layer let me hold alt on my keyboard and drag this to the third layer as well so that it gets duplicate so what I'll be doing is I'll simply add FX to the third layer here so that it acts as some reflection. So let's head into the FX here. The first effect that I'll be applying is vertical flip. I type in vertical and you see vertical flip effect and drag this onto this layer. The next effect that I apply is linear wipe to have this linear wipe I'll drag this onto this layer as well and the last effect that we're adding is Gaussian blur so add this Gaussian blur to the layer as well so now you see our uh, topmost layer is looking something like this so let us tweak these effects in the first place let me adjust the position just so that there's no gap between these two images like this the next thing that I do is use the opacity to like 70 or 80 would be good and I set the wipe angle of linear wipe effect to 0 and I set the transition completion to 40 yep this looks good to me and feather it out a bit just like this alright I set the feather to 80 5 would be good and add some Gaussian blur increase this value just like this so now you see that we have a very uh, good looking reflection of our original logo just like the way you see in the clip here so this is how you add reflection to text or an image in Adobe Premiere Pro if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you're looking for more visual effects and tutorials consider subscribing to my channel and if you'd like to talk to me you can connect with me on instagram at vfx guy ravi see you guys next time with another tutorial